Hello, good evening. Uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you how to merge two data column uh, of the data table and bind the single table with uh, into the grid view. Suppose you have four column that is uh, uh, serial number, first name, last name, and the city or you can say the country. And I want to uh, I want to show uh, in a grid view only the name so uh, here I will show you how to merge the first name and last name and show as a name in grid view as a single column so so first of all add a grid view control uh, in a web page by using simple tab okay uh, in the design view Add a grid view control. Uh, you can add a grid view in source view also. Grid view. Run at equals to server. ID equals to Z1. Auto generated columns. It means uh, that default columns uh, generated by ASP.NET or with Studio that is false it's not generated automatically uh, designed manually by the user so if you want to design manually the columns so set the auto generated columns that is false uh, also use the on row data bound event uh, mainly this event is used when your grid view is successfully bind just after use this event on row data bound event it means after binding the grid view that event is raised okay now uh, bind the columns of the grid view by simple using data uh, table okay now bind the column of the grid view uh, with the uh, data table columns so I will take uh, uh, three col uh, four column in the data table but here we will take uh, only the three columns the first column represents the serial number that is the header text is uh, as a header uh, text uh, on the grid view column and the second header text that is name its combinations of the first name and the last name so do not take in the data field so it's a empty string inside in data field in the city I will take header uh, text is city okay that's fine city it's a simple uh, ASP bound field uh, these fields are bind with the data table uh, which is used in code behind file so on the page load first of all check the page is post back or not if your page is post back then uh, your grid view is not loaded with the data and either if your grid view is not loaded with the data I, I mean to say your post back is not then grid view is loaded with the data okay now not equals to page dot is post back that means uh, your grid view is loaded with the data table so first of all take a data table instance uh, the data table instance actually exists in system.data namespace uh, you can use this control dot by shortcut and also write in the upper top corner using system.data namespace now create a object of the data table now add uh, four column in the data table by using add range method add range method actually applied on array so create a data column array here mm, data column that the size of the data column is four and in, uh, in which we can take four column that is serial number first name last name and the city 
so new data column and in the data column I will take the name of the column okay the name of the column is serial number so s number is the name of the column actually this data column is match with the ASP bound field data field and that is this ASP data field serial number so now copy this and paste it here comma separated with the column using comma the new data column and the second column is first name first name and the third column represent the last name okay comma in the last column represent the CT CT oops uh, that CT uh, here we have C is a capital letter but here we have C is a small letter so capitulated because the data field and the data columns are same now add the rows in the data table uh, under specific column okay now add the rows in the data table the one is represent under serial number and Jacob is the first name and Lifore is the second name and the city is New York but here we use US United States New York also copy this and paste multiple times now change the data the serial number first name last name and the city Will Smith the second name Smith the city is US 1 okay US 2 and US 3 the name is Smith Bill serial number is 3 and in the last serial number will take Amin Bella okay that's fine now bind this data table to the grid view so G1 is the ID of the grid view and bind with the data table so G1 dot data source is DT G1 dot data bind okay now successfully bind the data table with the grid view okay it's too much easy code now after binding the data when the page is loaded firstly you can check after binding the grid view the rows e dot row dot row type data control row type dot data row if the row type is data row then we can make changes in the row so e dot row dot cells that is the first cell that is empty in the grid view uh, the header text is a first name plus last name and represent in the single name so here we make changes by using string dot format the 0 and the 1 uh, under 0 I will bind uh, I will bind the first name and the 1 I will take the second name by using the data binder dot evil method dot evil
e dot raw dot data item comma the name of the data item that is first name now copy this here and paste it yeah okay <coughs> that's fine similarly with the second name okay the data binder data binder dot evil e dot row dot data item dot row dot data item comma the second name that's fine okay merge the column after binding the grid view okay this is the simple code mm, 0 and 1 0 represent the first name and 1 is representing the last name so run it run this and check your output it's too much simple code and it will take few seconds to load the output in the browser so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials and learn many more things about esp.net web forms okay thank you thank you very much